Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Vega Vibes. Well, you guys see the title, so let me give you a rundown on that. You guys already know the last video, I uh, supposedly rebuilding a core that I purchased for 200 bucks. And uh, I had Eric, the trans man, step up and say he would rebuild it. Well, let's take a look at the results. Well, folks, here it is. This is my rebuilt awesome 727 torque flight transmission. Here it is. All done up, ready to go in. But there's a catch. You see, along the way, I kind of kind of seen some red flags, right? And I should have saw them a lot sooner, right? Because if I did, I wouldn't have gone and spent eight hundred and thirty-five dollars and sixty-five cents plus the two hundred dollars for labor and the $200 for a core. So that's what? Close to $1,300 that I just tossed in the garbage. Why do I say that tossed in the garbage? Because I was convinced that I needed parts. Many, many parts. Nice parts. Awesome parts. Better parts. All right? And it's not all bad. All right? Because here's your, here's your solid steel band. Right? That's there. That's brand new. Here's my red clutch friction disc, right? They're all in there, okay? But I was convinced that I needed a new drum, and so I purchased a used good drum with the old clutches and everything in it, which I took apart and cleaned myself, all right? So here, let me show you the first red flag. I got my parts back. Here's the parts box. All right, all right, there's the pan bolts. Here's what looks like some snap rings, all right? Maybe a few gaskets in there. And these are still brand new, parts that I paid for, all right? A few odds and ends in here, right? Here's the old clutch disc. You guys see that? They're all there. Here's the old band. Here's the front direct drum band that was in there. All right, that's all good. I got those back. And here's the so-called drum that came out of my car. All right, so I was told that I needed a better drum with a wide bushing. I don't know. That looks like a wide bushing to me. I was told that I had the small bushing. But then I did some research and found out that in 72, all torque flight transmissions, 727s, had a wide bushing. So why did I need to buy this? Well, supposedly I can get five to six clutches in there. Well, guess what? I was only able to get the four. Fine, okay. Four clutches are fine. But I was also told that I needed new steels. These are all used. These are all used, sanded down, which may not be a problem, but the steels that I purchased were oversized, thicker, more clamping power, right? Well, they're not in there. Not one. All right, I thought I would get those back. But as I was told, oh no, I was able to get them in. Two on this drum and two on the other drum. Well, where's the two in here? They're not in there. Gone. Remember, folks. $835. Here. Pause that and you can see what I purchased. Okay, these are all the parts that I purchased. Including this used pan. Because it's deeper. And a Transgo Performance Kit. That's still here. This is the one I was told to get, and it's still here. 
Obviously, it wasn't installed. Here's the valve body. I was told this was in great shape, but how do I know this isn't compromised? And how do I know that my drum is not my drum? Well, here it is, because I took it apart myself and I put it in a parts washer, and I was cleaning this piston, and the piston that came out of there it was pretty decent shape. We'll take a look at this piston here. You see that missing piece right there, that gouge? Does this look like it's been in a parts washer? No, this is what I got back though. Now mind you, I bought this, but I didn't buy this. This is not what I paid for. I remember looking at this piston, it was in great shape. This piston here, it looks like it's been through hell and it's been laying around for years. You see that? That's no good. That's no good. Where's my steels? They're not in here. I was told they were used. These are all used steels. Where's my brand new steels? My oversized steels, they're not there, right? Okay, so then I look at this right here. Look closely. I can get my nail right there. Okay, I can feel that. That's probably no good. Okay, so there you go, folks. I was bamboozled. I was shafted, pun intended. There it is. And this is as far as I've gone. I, I, I'm not going to take the rest of it apart. I can't trust this. I'm not putting this in my car. I'm going to go back to my original idea, which was spend the $3,200 and buy a monster transmission with warranty and a torque converter. Now I'm out $1,300 for a transmission I can't use. I don't know what else was done with this. I don't know if this was compromised. I don't know if it's the same one or it's, yeah, it's got a few damaged ends on it. I mean, this would probably still work for a little while, right? But it's not right. I can feel that. This is deep. It's got a gouge in it. See, I don't know what I'm looking at here, folks. The last time I took apart a transmission was 1989. I didn't like transmissions. Another thing is, I don't allow anyone to do anything for me unless it's a reputable shop. And I consider Monster Transmission to be reputable. You know, I've purchased transmissions from them before, right? Install them and they're still kicking today. So, yeah, I got scammed. I got scammed by Eric the Trans Man. Here it is, folks. $1,300 down the tubes. So, I guess, uh, I guess the only thing to do is, uh, Put this all back together, set it off to the side, and let it sit for another 50 years. While I come up with the money to order my new uh, 727 from Monster Transmission. Alright folks, that's enough of my rant. You already know how I feel about this whole thing. Uh, whatever. Lesson learned. I don't know what made me trust that someone else can do this for me and do it right without getting shafted. This is why I hate people. Snake oil. Is that what they call it? Snake oil. Anyway, folks, until next time, I'll see you then.